I'm sorry. What happened in Cape Town has already been laid out by Cricket Australia. Tonight, I want to make clear that as captain of the Australian cricket team, I take full responsibility. I made a serious error of judgment and I now understand the consequences. It was a failure of leadership, of my leadership. I'll do everything I can to make up for my mistake and the damage it's caused. If any good can come to this, if it can be a lesson to others, then I hope I can be a force the change. I know I'll regret this for the rest of my life. I'm absolutely gutted. I hope in time I can earn back respect and forgiveness. I've been so privileged and honoured to represent my country and captain the Australian cricket team. Cricket is the greatest game in the world. It's been my life and I hope it can be again. I'm sorry and I'm absolutely devastated. To take some questions here. Steve, you mentioned you can give us a picture of what was going through your mind when you agreed to go through with this. Why'd you do it? Look, for me, I think my week has, has been around, you know, good people make mistakes and I've made a big mistake by allowing this to happen. Um, it was a huge error of judgment on my behalf and I'm deeply sorry. See you from... Jane Sutherland said that this was an isolated incident. Can you say hand on heart that under your captaincy no member of the Australian team, to your knowledge, has ever previously tampered with the ball before Cape Town? To my knowledge this has never happened before. This is the, the first time I've, I've seen this happen and I can assure you it'll never be happening. Thank you, thank you. Steve, uh, Steve, what's your relationship at the moment with David Warner? Do you blame him for this? No, I'm not. I don't blame anyone. As I said, I'm the captain of the Australian team. It's on my watch, and I take responsibility for the actions of what happened last Saturday in Cape Town. Steve, Steve uh, I'm going to take a different tact on this. My name's Intern Pete from the Kyle and Jackie O Show here, mate. I want to let you know on from the perspective from non-sports community and Australians, to see you upset tonight is very sad. We asked our listeners, as I said, we're not a sports show. We asked our listeners what we thought about this. And we have, uh, we, we opened up to them and mate, I've got to tell you, hold your head high for a little bit for what you have done, because what, what's actually been worse is what Davina and D Dean did on Married at First Thank Sight. You. Do you know what I mean? Like that's, it's okay. Thank you. Um, I've got three Ooh. sons of my own who as they can breathe cricket and they absolutely cherish you. What do you have to say to the kids? I'll say two things. Um, or three things. Firstly, um, I'm deeply sorry. Um, I love the game of cricket. I, I love entertaining young kids. I love kids wanting to play the great game of cricket um, that I love. Um, the two other things is any time you think about making a, a questionable decision, think about who you're affecting. You're affecting your parents and to see the way it's been. <laughs> And thanks everybody. Thank you. It's, it hurts. Uh, but it's yeah. Uh, I just want to say I'm sorry for the pain that I've I guess, brought to Australia and, and the fans and the public. It's 
devastating and I'm truly sorry. Thank you.